Hello, I'm Chris Long with GoFish Digital, and today we're gonna to talk about improving SEO on the Shopify platform. By improving SEO on Shopify, this can result in improved organic traffic to your site and more revenue for your Shopify store. The SEO improvements we'll talk about today are reducing duplicate content, crawling and indexing considerations, and creating a blog on Shopify. Let's take a look at each one. Many Shopify stores will create internal links to duplicate content by default. Oftentimes, category pages will link to non-canonical duplicates of your product pages. These pages tend to have the collections text in the URL path. This can send conflicting signals to Google as your site is internally linking to URLs that can't rank in the search engines. Fortunately, oftentimes a simple adjustment to one of your website's theme files can ensure that all of your category pages link to the correct version of your product URLs. We've included a link to this in the video notes. Product variant pages can also create duplicate content issues on Shopify sites. These pages occur when you offer your products in a variety of colors. By default, Shopify will create unique URLs for each color variant. This can create duplicate content issues as oftentimes these pages do not contain unique content. If this applies to you, you'll need to determine how you can eliminate the duplicate content issues. You could consider creating unique content for each variant. This can be a good option if you think that each variant is strong enough to stand on its own as an indexable page in the search engines. Another option is to use the canonical tag to point all of your variants back to a single version. This can be a good option if you don't have the time and resources to create unique content for each individual product variant. Shopify also has a few unique crawling and indexing considerations when it comes to your robots.txt, your no index tags, URL redirects, and log files. By default, Shopify's robots.txt blocks crawling to your site's internal search, shopping cart, and admin area. Keep in mind that Shopify does not allow you to make adjustments to your robots.txt, so you cannot adjust Google's crawling there. You can add the no index tag to individual pages and to page templates. This is provided in Shopify's official documentation, which we've included in the video notes. When it comes to redirects, Shopify allows you to implement them easily. You can do this by navigating to online store, navigation, and then clicking on URL redirects. Similar to the robots.txt, Shopify does not allow you to access your website's log files. This makes it slightly more difficult to understand how Google is actually crawling your website's content. Oftentimes, we see that Shopify sites don't include a blog section. This can be a big missed SEO opportunity. We're seeing that Google is ranking more and more informational articles for queries that may initially appear to be transactional. This is because Google has identified the intent of these keywords as more informational as opposed to transactional. To rank for your store's most important keywords, it may be necessary to create informational blog content to match that user intent. For example, let's say we had a store that sold running watches. Normally, we would expect a category page would need to be able to rank for the term running watches. However, when looking in Google, we can see that the top ranking articles are more informational and list the best running watches that users can buy. If we wanted to be more competitive for the term, we might need to create a piece of content that aggregates our top running watch products. This is true for a lot of queries that Shopify stores want to rank for. It's important to understand if Google is ranking more informational or transactional pages for your site's core keywords. If you see Google is ranking more informational types of content, you might need to create a blog post to better serve user intent. Of course, there are many other SEO considerations when it comes to the Shopify platform. For a complete list, consider reading our complete guide to Shopify SEO linked to in the video description. We hope this has been helpful and please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions on improving SEO for the Shopify platform. Thank you for watching.